We're back on Reventuli again today at a cool little outpost. It's funny how these things, at least for me, go unnoticed in the initial kind of discovery of the map. I don't remember this tractor or little barn here at all, but I wanted to come back out here. We had a pretty good hunt yesterday, got a lot of stuff for respawns, but one thing that we are doing a little more normally today is running with a better loadout. We have the 16 gauge, we have the 308, 243 in there as well for raccoon dogs and lynx. And we have the 22, so we're going to have a lot more variety in what we can use to take down our game. And we probably won't do too much waterfowl hunting, but we'll see if we can maybe kind of pick up where we left off yesterday. And see if we can add any of the missing trophies that we have yet to find on Reventuli. Now we were fortunate enough to get a Diamond Wheel of Ptarmigan two hunts ago on Reventuli Coast. But I still want to continue trying to hunt for them, and more particularly trying to get males for respawns. There is a multi-mount with a raccoon dog, I think, with a male willow ptarmigan, and in theory I guess we could use the one that we have, but I'd love to have a second one for that multi-mount, and maybe even better would be the potential of getting a rare willow ptarmigan. There's a lot of cool ones, it seems like there are a ton of different variations, and even if we could just get a diamond with a different variant, that would be pretty neat as well to add into that multi-mount eventually if we can find ourselves a rare or diamond raccoon dog, and that's actually kind of what we're looking for right now. As we go through here and collect all of these ptarmigan, I think we had shot four, so that should be all of them. We're down here in the south, and I think what we're going to do at least to start off with today is run all the way from east to west along the southern border of the map and just look for raccoon dogs, willow ptarmigan, whatever else we can discover, and if we still have time at the end, we'll head up north again into the upland region. It seems like there's always something to go after on this map. We already have a Maxwood Estimate Mountain Hare track, and quite possibly the warning call from that. I just saw it there and I think it took off. Now, most rabbits in the game, maybe all the rabbits in the game outside of the European rabbits, will run for a while and then just kind of stand still. So if they do end up fleeing, probably the best thing to do is just run and try to spot them wherever they've stopped at. That is a white willow ptarmigan, which may actually have been what I saw. I'm kind of tempted to try to get it. I think they are a rare. Now it is a level 1 female, and we are tracking a potential diamond mountain hare, but we'll take that as well. I don't know that there's any female multi-mounts or anything like that, but it is at least kind of uncommon. Pretty cool looking bird as well, 517 silver. We'll tax that super quick and try to get back on the rabbit's tracks here. Finally, we have it going through here. I think I saw that it was a level 2. It was really tough to track. That's probably the farthest I've ever followed a rabbit after initially spooking it. It just did not want to slow down, or if it did, it was always in areas where we didn't see it. But no idea what the estimate was. It is a light gray fur type, and a gold at 5.2 when diamond is 5.6. So quite a ways away from being a diamond, but maybe our fourth max weight estimate track? We haven't had that many. So that definitely is encouraging, and I've talked about it on streams and stuff, of all the species on Reventuli Coast, that's the one that I'm worried about the most in terms of trying to get a diamond. I think the black grouse and the hazel grouse, we can get pretty good numbers of them, and it's only going to be a matter of time before level 3 shows up. The mountain hare, at least the way that we've been hunting, we really don't encounter that many, so I'm really hoping to stumble upon a 3 and basically not have an antelope jackrabbit grind all over again like we had on Rancho, but we'll see that's yet another max weight that was well short of diamond. It only was kind of an afterthought there, I was so focused on the potential of that being a diamond, it didn't even occur to me that ultimately led to the white willow ptarmigan, and I'm not sure if we're going to put it in the main lodge, probably in the second lodge, but definitely a pretty cool kill, the, the best we've had I'm going to say already between today's hunt and yesterday's, so hopefully that will continue going forward, but we do get ourselves a level 6 raccoon dog, which honestly isn't bad. I feel like most I see are level 5 or below for the males. Nice gold at 7.3, and we'll see if we can get a good bit more of those as we go down through here. We should encounter a lot. That seems to be one of the most effective methods of hunting them. You can hunt them in their drink time at night, kind of doing the same thing in the same areas, but... I prefer to be able to see well, and they seem to be kind of near the roads generally. If you run through the open areas, they kind of make themselves visible. What on earth? 
We have another level three Willow Tarmigan. I can't believe that just ran past us at that range. Probably should make sure we get it before we get too excited. It looked to be the molting plumage type again. Now I've been under the impression, and maybe it is true, that Diamond Willow Tarmigan are fairly rare, but that is our second quite possibly initial spawn. I don't know. 787 Diamond made it by about 15. Not bad, I mean, I guess we have the Tarmigan for our multi mount, even though it effectively looks the same as our other one. At the very least, we can display kind of the Rock Tarmigan and the Willow Tarmigan side by side, and we can have a multi mount with a Diamond Willow, hopefully, eventually with a Diamond Raccoon Dog, but it's amazing. There were a couple of Willow Tarmigan running by, just try to spot them on the ground, make sure we don't miss nothing, and yet again, a level 3 Willow basically comes right to us. The last one flew just about right over us. Perhaps somewhat fittingly, we now have a, I think, bicolor? Or maybe brown. It is bicolor. A uh, female Willow Tarmigan going by. I think there is a, a male bicolor variant as well, which I do quite like. It is... I want to say what all male Willow Tarmigans in Hunter Classic once were, they've just recently changed that, but it kind of gives me a little bit of nostalgia seeing that in Call of the Wild, and I'd like to eventually maybe have a diamond one of those for our lodge as well, but as things stand, we have two molting ones. Meanwhile, now a level one male, and there are all kinds of Willow Tarmigan down here. I think that's maybe something that wouldn't be immediately obvious when looking at the map. I would have expected, and there are some, to be all the way up in the north primarily with the Rock Tarmigan and Black Grouse and stuff like that, but they are very much littered all throughout the south down here. I really don't intend to make this a Tarmigan only hunt, but they keep on showing up. And I mean, the potential to get respawns for rares, I think, when there are flocks of them going by are much higher. I don't know what just happened. It felt like that one just fell out of the sky in front of us, or maybe it just kind of shifted on the ground and made a sound as if it had just fallen. But two more there, nothing exactly special, but what has been interesting is the amount of raccoon dogs we're running into is not as high as I would have hoped. Now that could be because I tried to pick a different route. Normally I would have went down kind of through this way and around. This time I went north of this lake just to kind of get into areas that we don't normally check. And I don't know if that was the reason we got the Diamond Willow. It may have been. It, that might have been right up in here, actually. But we haven't really seen that many. But at least it has allowed us to get a good number of Willow Tarmigan. And we can add another to that list. And perhaps even one other on top of that. They just kind of keep on showing up. But hopefully from here on out, we can start to find some other stuff. I do think... Especially given the fact that we ended up shooting a diamond pretty early on. We might try to get up there north and look for black grouse and hazel grouse again. It is nice to, to see the diamond birds and like I said, I wanted a second diamond willow for that multi mount. So that worked out nicely, but it kind of pushes me to want to head up north and, and look for some of the ones we haven't yet gotten. Probably predictable. But we have another willow tarmigan we're going to try to take out. I don't even know what plumage type this is. But it is a little bit different. It's kind of a brownish color. I think we did get a shot in there that impacted, so we'll have to wait for it to go down. But I don't know if that would be a rare or an uncommon or what. I don't even know that I'm going to taxidermize it because I just don't know. But we did get it. We'll go and take a look and see what that is. I don't think there are any multi mounts for female Willow Tarmigan, unfortunately. So probably not a whole lot we could do with that. It is a brown plumage type. I think an uncommon, I'm pretty sure we've had a couple of these before. But on top of the white plumage type we had earlier, and the diamond for that matter, we've had a lot of interesting willows. I mentioned earlier on in the hunt that most of the male raccoon dogs I see are pretty low level. This is a perfect example of that. And we actually had another level four earlier that I didn't include, just because I figured I'd shoot it, get the respawn hopefully for the future, and move on. But that tends to be what we're running into, and especially because I do want to go ahead and head up into the upland region and look for grouse again. I thought we'd take that guy and get moving, but at least it's a couple of respawns for males. Actually, there is a sixth lane right there, so we might as well get that too. 
And this is the other thing that can be a little difficult with them. That was odd. I guess maybe it was an insta-kill he never even moved after making that shot, but because they rest and the Red Fox I think do this now too, they used to rest kind of sitting down and Coyotes fall into this category as well. Now they rest on their side and if you don't see them from a distance, as you can see now as we're getting closer, once the grass starts to render in, they are basically invisible and if they don't warn a call, it's really easy to just not know they were there. So we've gone all this time, almost I'm going to say an hour between raccoon dog kills, maybe like 40 minutes. And then we killed two males almost side by side, just because we had a good open area where we could spot them in the distance. A level 4 here, which obviously has no chance of being a gold or anything. Gray 5.3. Actually hit that in the neck. Kind of lucked out that that was an instant drop and not one that we're tracking. And then a level 6, which we got in both lungs, a 7.3 again. Not too bad. Two golds then from the three that we shot, can't complain about that. And we'll head up north and see if we can get some grouse. By the way, something I I don't know how I missed, but I did miss, is that there is a hazel grouse collar, and if that guy's gonna take that long, we'll just hit him off the ground. It's not necessary to shoot him out of the air anyway, but I think it kind of works like the turkey locator collar. I don't know that it brings them in, but I believe it does make them more likely to call. I don't remember if I still have that on me. I realized it yesterday after hunting ducks. I don't have it. Probably what we'll do is maybe just fast travel here and go up through this way. And we'll grab that and bring it with us and see if it can maybe improve our numbers. Well, unfortunately, we didn't really get to see if the hazel grouse collar did anything because these ones just were chilling on the road. I actually did have the track from the mail and I was doing some calling, never did get a response. So we'll see if that changes as we continue to go forward. Nice gray plumage type, still my favorite for them from everything I've seen. By the way, it is a very high-pitched, rather quiet caller. Just because I happened to see it in Discord two days ago, I think. If you're maybe playing on low volume or without a headset, there's a good chance you actually won't hear the sound it's making. It is making a sound, it is working properly, it's just kind of tough to hear. Well, one thing that we can find no matter what seems to be a ptarmigan, whether it's rock ptarmigan or willow ptarmigan. We just run into those seemingly non-stop. I like the molting rock ptarmigan a little bit more than the willows. They're kind of a, a more of a grayish color rather than the brown. They do look really nice, but that is something we have a diamond of as well. We were fortunate enough to get a diamond rock ptarmigan pretty early on, but not a whole lot of sign of grouse throw up through here. And I know there are black grouse in this area. There were tracks back there. And the problem was I ended up I reset the time basically to bring our health back to full because I don't have medkits on me. And I think that caused them to warp around in their zones and basically they could be just about anywhere by now, but I gotta assume somewhere up in here we'll run into some. That is the first time I've seen a max weight hazel grouse track. 0.45 kg is the max. So we'll kind of go along here, hit the collar, see if it'll call out to us. But that's one I do not want to leave until it's dead, even if it's not a three. That's the first time there's even been a shot for us. Maybe this will be the one. And that may well be him, even though he didn't respond to the call. I thought I may have just seen one fly off, but sounds like he's getting ready to. It's probably him right there. He is a three. And he is down from the 16 gauge. Sir 12 just about caught him. I can't believe we just stumbled into that. The caller did us no good, I'll be honest. It, it didn't made him call at all, but a diamond hazel grouse. Brown plumage type, not the gray I was hoping for, but no complaints from me. Made it by 2.5. I can't believe the way that our bird hunting tends to go. I was thinking that you know, we've spent a fair bit of time looking for black grouse and hazel grouse, and we keep finding diamond rock ptarmigan, diamond willow ptarmigan. And then with the ducks, if I'm targeting golden eye, we find diamond tufted ducks. And if I'm targeting teal, we find more diamond tufted ducks. For once, we actually kind of go out after grouse, and we end up finding ourselves a diamond. And I'll be honest, I think we are going to wrap up at that. So we'll jump back to the trophy lodge, add our couple of new diamond birds to the lodge, and we'll kind of see what it looks like. 
Now this was bound to happen eventually and I figured I would just go ahead and do it now. There's been a pheasant multi mount sitting here with a diamond and a really big gold gray for a long time. And that was the multi mount that I was hoping to put a rare pheasant into if we could ever get one. And I still intend to try to get one. But because of all the new bird species and the limited amount of small plaques, we were bound to end up with so many diamond ptarmigan and grouse and ducks that that multi mount was going to go away. So I decided to finally do it here with the diamond willow. Now, the ultimate plan for this one, and I guess I should confirm that with the multi mounts, is to go into a multi mount with the raccoon dog. Hopefully, we can eventually find one of those. And it is a male raccoon dog and male willow ptarmigan for that multi mount. So if we can get ourselves a diamond raccoon dog, eventually it should end up going with that. But I did put the hazel grouse over here next to a diamond pheasant just to kind of have them side by side. I like the flying poses, but just to kind of switch it up, decided to put him just kind of in an alert pose. Kind of fitting since we did actually flush him and take him out of the air, which I know I've mentioned this, but I'll mention it again here since we did take both of our diamond birds out of the air today, the ptarmigan, of course, being required. I would like to, ideally, for all the possible diamond birds on Reventuli Coast, get them out of the air, other than the Caper Kaylee. That one is one you would feasibly probably shoot off the ground in real life anyway, so I don't mind if that one ends up being a grounded shot as opposed to an aerial shot, but pretty cool. Two diamond birds, one new one today in the hazel grouse. Probably my favorite species on Reventuli Coast for the new birds. I like the black grouse a lot too, and that remains the last grouse species that we don't have a diamond of from Reventuli Coast, and I think that's one we should be able to manage. I find a lot of them. Today we didn't seem to encounter them much, but I think if we put some time in, we will be able to get that one as well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.